Hello, my name is Benji and welcome back to my channel. For this week's video, I asked you guys to send me questions on my Instagram or like a little Q&A and I asked for plant related questions and non-plant related questions so that way you guys can like get to know me better. And this is Chris, he's folding clothes. Okay, so a lot of you guys ask questions about what I'm majoring in and what I study. I am an environmental studies major. Right now, I'm in my last year of college or my last quarter. Within environmental studies, I'm kind of doing research on sustainable aquaculture. I'm part of a lab group that does research on finding sustainable alternatives to fish feed because conventional fish feed is traditionally unsustainable because it uses fish meal and fish oil and so they're trying to replace fish meal and fish oil with microalgae so yeah it's really cool and that's kind of like what i've been doing a lot of this past year researching fish feed and fish poop and stuff like that live plants sd asked most beautiful variety of philodendron that's really hard because i have a lot of philodendron okay so it doesn't look great now but this is a philodendron elegans and it is kind of like one of my current favorite plants and there's a lot of plants that have like a similar leaf shape to it but i think this one is just like really pretty and once it matures the leaves will look really cool and i'll leave a picture so you can see another question that i got a lot of was when did i start collecting plants and how did i get into them my dad has a garden and he's always had a garden since i was little and when i was younger i'd help him out but I got my first personal plant, I think my junior year of high school, which is like five years ago or something. And that was a golden pothos and that stayed alive until my freshman year of college. I don't know what happened to it, but it died, something happened. And then in my freshman year of college, I also got an asparagus fern and I think I got like a small fiddly fig. The small fiddly fig died and so did the asparagus fern and then so did my golden pothos. And then it was my sophomore year in college when I started like really getting into plants, I purchased a larger fiddly fig. This one, right here. A few questions asking like, am I single? Am I in a relationship? So this is Chris. Hello. <laughs> we met as roommates um, our freshman year of college and we started dating and we've just been together ever since. So he's like my roommate slash my friend. So this person asked for a room tour. I feel like my bedroom plant tour, which is my first video I ever uploaded, is kind of like a room tour, but I've actually been thinking of doing a house tour. So if you guys are interested in seeing like a house tour, then I will do that. I also got a few questions about like how old I am. Um, so I'm 21, my birthday's in June. And I also got questions about what my zodiac sign is. And I am a Gemini. Toadstool Mushroom asked what my best plant glow up is and I would say is this monster right here um, that I got from Costco. It was like super ugly when I first got it because it was really damaged and now it looks amazing. So this person asked how to prevent like small insects and I think like fungus gnats. This is actually probably like one of the most common questions I get because fungus gnats are super annoying and I feel like everyone has them. The only thing that I found that works for me to actually get rid of them is to use a systemic insecticide. So there's like bonine systemic insecticide and it comes in these little granules that you just pour on top of your soil. So cat cow asked, how do I manage college, YouTube and hundreds of plants. It's really difficult, actually. Like, that's kind of one of my biggest stressors at the moment is being able to manage all of these things. That's why I'm so excited to graduate this June. I think it'll just give me more time to do things that I love, like creating content on YouTube and Instagram and TikTok, and then also just like taking care of my plants. So yeah, I'm not great at time management. How do I do it? I just, I don't know, I get, I get really stressed out. Okay, I'm just gonna, move on to the next question because I don't want to think about all the work that I have to do. What's my ethnicity? I'm Vietnamese. Yeah, I also got two questions asking if I'm Asian. Um, I'm just gonna let you guys decide. Millie Tay asked, what plant would you say is the best for hanging over and being droopy? So I really like that look too. Like I like plants that really that really like hang over. One of my favorite plants right now for that is the Hoya linearis. I really like how the strands just go straight down. Other than that, I really like string of hearts and then string of pearls. 
then you could also do like philodendron. Um, I'll show you the philodendron that they have over my bed. So this person asked for beginner anthuriums. I think one of the best beginner anthuriums out there is the anthurium clarinervium. Like this one, it's super pretty, but it's a little bit expensive. I got mine for like $50, but I think they range from like 50 to like 150 or so. This person asked, did you ever let a plant die or lose interest in any of them? Um, yes, I have. I had this one plant, Ficus benjamina, that Chris got me because I said that I liked it because it's my name, you know, like, I thought it was cool that the plant name was my name. So that plant, I forgot to water it one time and it was in a terracotta pot and then it just dried and then it dropped a bunch of leaves. I just didn't water it again and I it was just on my windowsill for like a month and it was completely yellow and dried out and I was just like oh I'll water it one day and then I eventually just ended up throwing it away. Someone asked when to water a monstera. You should really be watering depending on your plant's needs so I can't just tell you like oh water once every two weeks because it really depends on your environment and what soil you give your monstera and what kind of pot it's in and how big it is compared to the pot like there's so many different factors that you have to take into account my best advice for when to water almost any house plant is remember the weight of your pot when it's wet versus when it's dry so that way like you can just lift up your pot and then feel that it's light and it needs water. Where do you buy your clothes? Um, so I actually haven't really bought clothes probably in over a year. I studied abroad in Korea fall of 2019 and I bought a lot of clothes there and I've just been wearing that clothes because it's pretty good quality and I don't feel the need to buy more clothes. Other than that, I probably like shop at Uniqlo and yeah, that's pretty much it, like Uniqlo, and then my clothes from Korea is like pretty much my whole wardrobe. How does your grow light operate, and do I have a timer? I was really like mad at myself for not doing this in the grow lights video. I have most of my lights connected to smart plugs, which means that I can connect them to my Alexa. And yeah, so look at this. Echo, turn off all of the lights. Like, okay. that's pretty cool. I was really like, dang, I should have showed you guys me turning on and off the lights, but yeah. So watch this again. Echo, turn on all of the lights. Okay. Whoa. That's cool, right? Okay, so I have also been getting a lot of like, what is your favorite plant? And that's really hard. And I think if you ask anyone, that's really tough. And my favorite plant changes all the time. So if like in a week I say this other plant is my favorite plant, do not come for me. Okay, so right now, my favorite plant is this Philodendron Splendid. Um, I think the leaves are looking super pretty and I love how they're all facing one direction. I think it looks really cool. And it's also in one of my favorite pots. This is a Hasami porcelain pot and I just love like the color and the shape and the texture. And yeah, it's like super pretty and it's perfect. So another question that a lot of people asked was like what my skincare routine is and what I do for my skin and I was like oh my god I just have been sort of obsessed with like skincare stuff since I was like 16 so I really like that question. So I have like five or six products that I've been using for like four years probably. I've been using them for a long time now. But if you guys want to know more about them, um, I'll like probably do a vlog or something soon and maybe talk about that. But I just use like a gentle cleanser, a toner, a serum, and then like a moisturizer and then oil and then sunscreen. So someone asked what my favorite album slash song is right now. I haven't really been listening to music at all lately. When I want to listen to something, I'll normally listen to a podcast or an audiobook. I've been listening to this one podcast for like five years now and it's probably one of my favorite podcasts ever and I would listen to it every Tuesday when it comes out. For audiobooks, I've actually read a lot recently. I just finished Song of Achilles and right now I'm listening to House by the Cerulean, Cerulean Sea. I'm I'm not really sure because I don't like look at the cover since it's an audiobook, um, but I'm almost done with it and it, I really like it. Okay, so in the Instagram story where I asked for you guys to ask me questions, I was wearing Crocs and someone asked why stand Crocs when you can stand socks? So I like kind of wear Crocs as house shoes and I really like having house shoes, but I really hate like 
fuzzy slipper type shoes because you can't really wash them. I don't want to wear socks around the house because then I'm gonna get holes in my socks. Like, I've never been a croc hater. I've always enjoyed a good pair of crocs. So art underscore SML asked, have you ever dealt with the problem following the humidity in the room? For example, mold. So I feel like this is actually kind of a issue that most people don't address. Like you don't want super high humidity in your room because you're probably gonna get some form of mold, which can also be dangerous. I actually don't have a humidifier in my room. I have a dehumidifier and I keep my humidity at around 55 to 60%. My aquariums evaporate and then increase the humidity in my room by a lot. So if I don't have the dehumidifier, my humidity gets to like 85% or something. This person asked, what is my favorite piece of clothing that I have? I would say that it's this jacket. I thrifted it, I think like six years ago now, and it's still in amazing condition and it's just super comfortable. Okay, I am just gonna do like a speed round where I just quickly answer a bunch of questions because I want to be able to respond to as many of you as I can. So favorite Studio Ghibli movie, probably Spirited Away and then Princess Mononoke. Can we see your aquariums? Yes, soon. What do you hate about having so many plants? Sometimes it can look a little bit cluttered. I don't really like the super cluttered look, so sometimes it sort of stresses me out. Do you have a YouTube channel? Yes. How tall are you? I am 5'8". How did I start working at your aquaponics place? I bothered my teacher and asked him for a job. When did I come out? I haven't. <laughs> Girlfriend, no. What was my first plant? Did it, did it have a name? My first plant that had a name was my asparagus fern and I named it Chicken Nugget. Small plant hacks for small spaces. Utilize vertical space. Have plants go up a pole or have them hang down. Do you like to eat tomatoes? Um, I normally only like them when they're cooked. Why is my rubber tree leggy? It probably needs more light. Roughly, how many plants do I have? I think I have around 90, maybe? I don't think I have 100. Who's your favorite planet in the solar system? Oh, that's kind of cute how they said who. My favorite planet is probably Neptune, because I like the blue color. How's your avocado plant going? It's still a seed with a tiny root. Plant you were most pleasantly surprised by? I would have to say my jade pothos. I think that the green is really pretty. Tips for building an Ikea cabinet. Plan ahead and know like what you're gonna do beforehand. What do I want to do after I finish studying? I think that, I don't know, I kind of just want to make content and sell plants and yeah, that's like what I want to do, but we'll see if that's what I am able to do. My favorite cheap rare plant is the philodendron micans. Do you miss your plants? Is it really necessary? No, I don't miss my plants and no, it is definitely not necessary. <laughs> Wait, Chris's question is, you're the sexiest person on planet Earth. Also, how do you treat root rot? My polia got it. <laughs> um, thank you. And so you would probably want to like unpot it and then remove all of the rotten roots and then just pot it back in a really airy mix and then try not to overwater it. Okay, that's all I'm gonna do for now. Um, I'll probably do another one in the future because this was pretty fun just to like answer questions you guys have about me or just like plant questions. So yeah, I'll probably do another one in the future and I'm sorry if I didn't get to your question. Um, thanks for watching and goodbye.